What's going on everyone, MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions and today you're going to watch the first video on my channel that has a Photoshop tutorial, that shows a Photoshop tutorial. And what better way to start this off than show you guys how to make a reflection in Photoshop. One of the most searched videos on YouTube. And without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now there are a lot of ways to do this in Photoshop, but I'm going to show you the one that I think is the most efficient and the one I use most of the time. We're going to create a new document in Photoshop, Command N on the Mac and Control N on the PC. The width and height you can set to whatever you want. I have mine to set to 500 and then the height to 100. Let's change that to 300. Hit OK. Once the document is up and open, hit F on your keyboard to make it full screen. That's just how I like to view it. If you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and not. Now from here, you can import an image or you can type your own text. I'm going to import a logo that I made for my new website coming up in 2010. And I'm going to open up in Photoshop. Then I'm going to select it all, hit Command C, close this, paste it. Now, if the photo is a bit too big, that, that's not a problem. You just hit Command T on your keyboard to open up the free transform options, then go to the corner, hold down Shift to constrain the proportions, and then drag to the left or right, depending on what you want to do. Once you're happy with the size, just hit Enter. And now, make sure you have your Move tool selected, or you can just hit V on the keyboard, and move that to the center. Just about there is fine. And what we're going to do from here is going to duplicate this layer. So make sure you have the, that layer selected, the image, and you can hit Command J on your keyboard, or you can just click, hold, and drag to the new layer icon at the bottom. All right. Once you have the new layer, select that layer, and you're going to go into Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. What this will do is just flip the image upside down. Now, again, make sure you have the Move tool selected. Hold down Shift and move this arrow, or move this image below directly below to the original one. So make sure the bottom of the original image is touching the bottom of the flipped version. You can play around with it. You can make it touching, you can make it not touching, make it whatever you want. From here, again, make sure you have the flipped version selected and you're gonna go to this icon right here, the third icon from the left. And what it's gonna do, is gonna add a layer mask. Once you do that, it's going to add a little icon beside the original one in the layers palette. Now, of course, make sure that that white blank icon is selected what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the gradient tool, or you can hit G on the keyboard, and you're gonna choose a nice black to white gradient, just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and then drag from bottom to top of that layer, and automatically you see there's a pretty nice reflection of that iMac or that logo. And of course, if you don't like it, you can always hit Command Z on the keyboard and do it again, like that. Or if you just want the bottom of it showing, like that. And you have a nice reflection. A very, very simple process in Photoshop. Well, there's nothing much left to say other than that. Thank you for watching. And guys, over there to the right of this video, you will find my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Right there in the description. And of course, if you did like this video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to these videos and channel. And guys, I will see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.